Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video and welcome back to the stash. The stash is back for the holiday season. Pay up and hop on for a ride. And now you want to. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, so in today's video, we are giving my bedroom a full holiday makeover. You know, I, I told you guys I was not really in the mood to be decorating. Look behind me trees up the tinsel trees up if you guys are not following me over on TikTok, make sure to follow me over there because that tree went viral i did add some new ornaments let me show you real quick these are from marilyn monroe's estate they're absolutely gorgeous they're pink vintage silk from the 60s and now they're mine but in today's video we are going off in the bedroom i want to make it a very cozy camp plaid 1960s vibe and I have a lot to show you guys. So buckle up, grab a snack and let's get to it. Mr. Christmas is back. So this is what's currently going on here. I have this little credenza with the mirror, my gorgeous fireplace, which I repainted. It's beautiful and white now. I need to take all of this stuff down. I want the tree to go here. And I think I want to do like a little train set around it because I used to have one as a kid. Here is just going to be super simple. Don't worry about this mess, but all this bedding is going, that needs to go. I need to dress that up a little bit. Maybe hang garland from there, I'm not sure. I just wanna really Christmasify everything. Just put some little cute knickknacks there. Christmasify this area out. But I'm thinking maybe some tall trees and some hanging garland here. I painted this the same color as the white paneling and it looks so good. I also filled in all the cracks with some, this was all cracked here and like spiders were coming through from outside and wind and it looks so beautiful. I just love it. It's like really fresh and white. I did a semi-gloss so I can just wipe it, which is nice. I ordered these on Amazon. I thought it was dark green and it's black and red. Wolf, they look so ugly. They look so ugly and cheap. I need to return these. I got them because they're 100% cotton, but <laughs> that's not Christmas. It's giving, it's not giving anything. Now I'm gonna have to wait until the other ones come. I ordered another pair that has really, really cute, like it's cream or white with dark green pine trees on it that it's gonna look so much cuter. So I'm just gonna wait, I'm gonna decorate and then I'm gonna do the bedroom tomorrow. But let's go cut the Christmas tree, shall we? It needs a fresh cut. What do we think? Isn't she gorgeous? She's stunning. I love you. She's lush, she's fresh, she's green, she's thick, she's stunning, she's waxy, she's dark, beautifully green. I don't know what kind this is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. It's not a balsam, but it is a little sparse, which I like. I like that. I couldn't find any balsams and everything was so expensive this year because of the drought, but it's beautiful. I'm gonna take it off this wooden situation just because I have this guy and I think it'll be a little safer, especially for the water intake. Okay, since we did the fresh cut, you're gonna wanna feed it a gallon of ice cold water, and then I use this stuff, it's called Keep It Green. I just get it usually at my tree shop whenever I get my tree. I'm telling you, it keeps it preserved for much longer than normal. But the secret is you wanna give it a fresh cut right when you get home. It doesn't, don't make them do it there. Do it when you get home, because by the time you get home with the tree, it could already be dried up if they fresh cut it there. So I placed it here. Probably gonna turn off the fireplace because it'll dry it out but this is a nice area by a window to keep it. You know, it's kind of drafty over here, so it'll stay a little cold. Let's turn this off. This is just a gas fireplace, but here she is in all her splendor. So let's get to decorating, babes. I'm extremely confused because I don't know what direction to go into. We have the white vintage candle lights, which would look great on this tree because they have sturdy branches. Or we have the vintage multicolored lights, which would look really great, but those get a little hot. So I'm a little nervous about those. This is the vibe. We're going for vintage cabin 1960s vibe. So we have red wooden beads, we have berries, we have frosted twigs, we have these really cute clip carnitals. Cardinals? Cardinals. This owl, do you die? I live for him. This little man, what are you called again? Hedgehog. Hedgehog, another owl. We have these beautiful felt snowflakes, which are stunning. These little vintage plaid moments. Have some pine cones, some birches, some more vintage plaid, some more vintage wooden ones, bobbles. Hi, Storm. 
We have a little fox that's gonna... You, no, don't get in my business. You stay right there. And don't pull off any of these ornaments. And then I have these deer, which I don't know if I'll use because I have some for the fireplace that I want to design up there. This is for the fireplace. These acorns are kind of tacky. I don't really like them that much. I wish I could have real acorns like on garland, but more like something like this, but I only have one of these, so can't really use that. Then I have some more picks and such in here. I have these lanterns as well, but the batteries ran out and I don't feel like manually turning them on and off, so. I don't think I'm using those this year, but right now I'm gonna choose ribbon. I have this like more natural ribbon and then a straight up like red. Don't piss on the tree. And of course a bird's nest because everybody needs a bird's nest. But lots to do and lots of decisions to make. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I went with the white lights. It looks really good. I don't really like how this wire look so i'm gonna try to kind of like hide it behind but i like the vintage look and then for ribbon i think i'm gonna go with this ribbon it's really pretty it's like a neutral that way it won't be overwhelmed by all the red ornaments and everything so let me show you how i'm doing the ribbon how, how am i gonna do this how am i gonna show you guys let me put the camera down over here maybe i wish you could hold it i wish you could hold it I mean, such a weird angle, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. So if you saw my video with Joey, you're gonna do one loop, a second loop, you're gonna fold, and you're gonna take your metal floral wire and twist it once, twice, three times a lady. And then you're just gonna take it wherever you want, and you're gonna pin it to that area. So you could do it here, you could do it lower, you can like let this cascade a little more. I think I'm gonna do a couple of these like just like dressed throughout the tree. And she's living. Switched up the ribbon, y'all. I thought it was too structured and I wanted to go like just loose and flowy and I added these red beads because they're very vintage and it's just giving me all the cabin vibes that I need. I just kind of tussled it in there, honestly. I didn't go too ham, but she's gorgeous. All right, it's the next day. The sheets came in. Look how gorgeous they are. You can tell like how high quality they are. This is by GH Bass & Co. They shipped from Maine, which I believe this brand helped up. Maine, literally on there. It's like dark green, pine trees, evergreens. I'm gonna wash these, get them on the bed. Oof, the mustache is back. What do we think? It's just temporary for now, but I'm kind of digging it. So we're about to decorate the outside with some traditional holiday lights. So let me show you what I'm doing. We're gonna go all the way around here, probably all the way around the door. We have some gorgeous garland here. I'm gonna put that around the door. I have a wreath as well. But I have my work cut out for me because I haven't done this in a very long time. I haven't done outdoor lights actually, I don't think ever. So fingers crossed I don't get hurt. Good to see it at night, but I did garland around the door with the lights. I did lights around the windows and all the way around. It's gonna look so cute. Okay, I started disassembling the bed area. All the pictures came down. I think I'm gonna put some green like cypress garland there. The lights are obviously staying. We're just gonna make it super cozy. And of course I have my gorgeous Helix Twilight mattress. And with that, today's video sponsor is Helix Sleep. You guys know I've been using Helix for literally years. I'm going on three years now. All my friends have their mattresses. My mom has a mattress, my ex has a mattress. I have a mattress in my house in Montana. My roomie in Montana has a mattress as well. They are just so incredible and so personalized because all you have to do, nobody wants to go in stores and sit on mattresses and there's so many companies that you just really don't trust like just picking something out online. So what Helix Sleep has done, they have made it super easy for you to find the perfect personalized mattress for you. All you have to do is go to helixsleep.com slash Daniel Prada and take their sleep quiz. So at that point, you input all your information. If you're a side sleeper, a back sleeper, a combination of both, if you sleep alone, if you sleep with someone. I know I personally sleep really hot. I sleep on my side, but I also sleep on my back. I'm like a combination for sure. And Helix then matches you with your perfect personalized mattress. And if you guys are interested right now, you can use the link below in my description. Go to helixsleep.com slash Daniel Prada and get up to $200 off your order, two free pillows, free shipping and a 100 day sleep guarantee, which means in that 100 days, which is over 
three months of sleeping. If you guys are not happy with your mattress, they will return it for a full refund and they'll even pick it up. Or you can just retake the sleep quiz and be paired up with the new mattress. We also have another happy customer here. Monty loves sleeping on my Helix mattress with me. Don't you? Yes, you do. Got some eye boogies on here. All right, that's enough, that's enough. And Helix makes it super easy to get your mattress. You take your sleep quiz, you get matched up with your perfect mattress, and then it ships to you for free to your doorstep. It just comes in a box. And yes, this mattress may come in a box, but don't even think for a second that this mattress is not personalized and handmade for you. It's super easy to put together. You just slide it out of the box, cut off the plastic, and let it rest for a few hours, and you are good to go. Our beds are where we start and finish the day, so why not invest in a quality mattress that'll have you sleeping like an angel, just like myself every night. It's so comfortable. Monty loves it. I love it. What more could you ask for? She's the best endorsement. Aren't you? Yes, you are. Good girl. So make sure to go to helixsleep.com slash Daniel Prada for up to $200, two free pillows, free shipping, and a 100-day sleep guarantee off your new Helix Sleep mattress. It'll be linked below in the description. All right, let's get back into the video. How gorgeous do the sheets look, you guys? They are so soft. Look at the quality. They're not too thick. They're the perfect size. Oh, it's coming together. It's so cute. And I have my little electric blanket, which I only roll it halfway onto the bed because I don't like my entire body hot. That's just a personal preference. I like my feet to be warm, but not my body because I don't sleep with the heat on. So that's why I have the heated blanket but I will link it down below. 10 out of 10, great quality. I've had it for two years. It's fabulous. Look how gorgeous it's coming together. I have this really cute pillow. I got this. I forget where, this may have been Target a few years ago. I'm not sure. Actually, no, this was definitely Home Goods a few years ago. It says warm up and get cozy. Really, really cute. I have this comforter that I used to have on my bed that I got dyed. And then this really beautiful blanket it has all my favorite colors, the brown, the oranges, the rust, the grays that dark forest green. This was a gift from my ex that he got me for my birthday, super cute. And right now we're doing a little DIY. So I saw these in like an art installation. These are real pomegranates. The good thing about pomegranates is when they dry, they don't mold or anything. They kind of just become hard. The outer shell becomes like a beautiful, like leathered, like a fruit leather essentially. And since we're not opening them, I can actually still enjoy these after the holiday season. But what I saw in the art installation at the store was that it was wrapped up like a present and it was hanging. So we're gonna do a little DIY because I wanna, these are like my sugar plums. This is what I envision a sugar plum to be. So we're gonna tie these up and see what it looks like hanging over my bed. Okay, so I have my pomegranate and I have my twine. I'd say it's like three feet of twine. No, it's definitely more than that, but really depends how long you want it. You're gonna take off your little sticker thingy. Just like you're putting on ribbon on a gift, essentially it's the same thing. Make a little cross like that and keep it taut, taut and tight, and then bring it up here, and then you're just gonna tie it like so. You can knot it, but I'm gonna do kind of like shoelaces, just so it gives it a little something extra. Just make sure you keep it tight, otherwise it'll come out of the little thing. Do that second knot then you should be good to go. How gorgeous and rich is this? So I just did four of them, but they look so beautiful. Let's hang them up now. How cute. And obviously you can adjust these if they're too low or too high, but I think that's perfect. I'll probably adjust them just a little bit for me. But I didn't wanna do a lot of red here. I just wanted it to be like super earthy vibes. I'm not gonna use these pod pillows. I think it takes away from the bedding, but yeah. I'll update you guys in a little bit. I need to talk about something extremely, extremely important. I need you to pause what you're doing and really pay attention here. This means so much to me. Candles. Candles are everything, especially around the holidays. I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites and I'm gonna turn you on to some good, Good, good candles, okay? Let's go. Luxury candles. This is by the brand Nest, New York. This is Hearth. This is Birchwood Pine. 
And this is Wilderness. Is it Wilderness or is it Charcoal Woods? Must be the Wilderness line, but called Charcoal Woods. Okay, so these two I've been buying for years. The brand was so nice to send them over. These make the most gorgeous gifts. These are what the vessels look like. They're three wick, they last a long time. And I love these because you will keep this vessel. I've kept all of mine, I have them. This one, Hearth, is very, very smoky and woodsy. It's divine, it's a bit more of a deeper scent. This birchwood pine is probably one of my favorite holiday candles ever. Again, this is what the vessel looks like. It's so pretty. It makes a gorgeous, gorgeous gift. White elephant, if you want to go a little more pricey. They're not crazy expensive. I'll pop up the prices on the screen, but they're just beautiful, high quality candles. And this one is also gorgeous. This is very, a very masculine scent. I really like it. This will definitely be like the scent for my bedroom. This is just a one wick. Such a beautiful vessel. And then this. So I bought this, this is in a tin. I've never bought a tin, but I actually bought this for these stocking stuffers I'm doing. This is the brand, it's called Times, and this is the scent, Fraser Fur. When I tell you, this is the holiday scent. This tin was $20. This will make your entire house smell like not only a Christmas tree, but if a Christmas tree barged into your house, took off all of its needles, and split itself in half, and then took a bath. like. It's gorgeous, it's sap, it's holiday. This is a true, like I have never smelled a candle like this. I would love to create a candle with this smell. It is Pine Nation USA. Oh my gosh, and it comes in diffusers, it comes in really big candles, it comes in soap. Their soap is incredible. A little pricier, but I mean, 20 bucks, this can last you a solid couple weeks. I use these holiday scents throughout, like until like February, especially pine. Great gift, great stocking stuffer. Like I said, comes in diffusers, comes in sachets, comes in little car scents, but these are some of my favorites right now. We'll pop that one over here, and this is my room spray, Cedar 11 by Lalabo. I think a lot of Lalabo scents are a bit overrated, but this one's really nice. Very woodsy, very cedar-y. I've had this one since almost a year, and it's lasted me. I also will sometimes use this as a cologne. Don't tell anyone. Okay, quick little break to talk about Feet. You guys have been in my DMs on Instagram asking me where this hoodie is from. So it is from Feet. It's so comfortable. It feels like you're wrapped up in a blanket. It's so nice and warm. This is the crew neck in the new olive green color. I have the zip up, also in the olive green color that they just sent over, and then the sweats, which I'm really excited to try. They look so comfortable. But Feet actually gave me a code, Prada50 at checkout. You guys can get 50 50% off your order, get all your shopping for the holidays done. So definitely check them out. They have sets for everybody and they're so comfortable. I've been living in their clothes, I'm obsessed. So definitely check out Feet and use code PRADA50 at checkout and get 50% off your order. They're so cute, comfortable, great quality, and would make a great gift. Fireplace is ready to be decorated. Here I have some balsam greenery. I have my plaid deer, my wooden deer. I have these cute little houses. And I have some of this gorgeous felt garland, this plaid garland, and these lights, which I might sprinkle in there. But I'm just gonna keep it super delicate, really, really light. Final tree is here. I'll show you up some up close details. Actually, this isn't final. We still need to add the popcorn and the cranberries, but it looks beautiful. Okay, hey, it's coming together. Look how cute these little twinkle lights are. I have never used twinkle lights, but I love them. The wreath is from Farm Girl Flowers. Got a little deer up there. And now we're putting together this train. I haven't had a train since I was a kid. And I kind of wanted to heal my inner child this season and put together this little train. It's so cute. I'm gonna put it around the tree. How adorable. The train don't move, it don't work. I've tried so many batteries and it is not working. It's not turning on. Amazon cheap, it wasn't even cheap. It was $80 and I just checked and now it's $40, but a new one won't arrive before Christmas. So, and I even ordered these cute little trees to put in here. That's me, my life going off the rails. I think I'm gonna order the one I really wanted since I was a kid, which is the Polar Express one. So we'll just have to wait and see. Guys, I did something that I hope you will be proud of. When it comes to spending unnecessary amounts of money on things that I do not need, <laughs> oh, I'ma buy it. Look at ha. Huh? It's a vintage wooden sled. So the guy selling it on 
Facebook Marketplace wanted $150 for this, so I lowballed him. And I said, I can afford $60. And guess what he did? He sold it to me. Look how stunning it is. Look at the detail, just for a decor item. Obviously, I'm not gonna use this, even though I am thin and gorgeous enough to. I don't even know how these used to work. You steer it like this. It came with this, I'm sorry. F for effort. No. But I do have this bow that kind of goes with the vibe. So we're gonna put this on there. Okay, two and a half hours later, the popcorn garland is done. And you guys, it's so stunning. I know it may not look that special, but I'm telling you in person, you could not replicate this. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And the new train is here, you guys. I've wanted the Polar Express. Hi, Mondi. I've wanted the Polar Express since I was a little boy and I can't believe I finally have it. So let's put it together. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. That is it for today's video and that is it for the Christmas bedroom makeover. I've got my pal here, Monty. She's sleepy, she's ready to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give this video a big like and leave some love down below in the comments. I am very, very sleepy, so I'm gonna head to bed in my cozy little flannel sheets. Everything I used in the room will be linked down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave things better than how you found them. All right, good night.